For the past 6 weeks, I've been eating 1,500 calories to try and look like a fitness influencer again. After taking a 3 month diet break to mentally and physically reset myself after over a year of restrictive dieting for a bodybuilding competition, my goals within this mini cut were to spend as little time in a deficit as possible, get back down to my baseline of 10-12% body fat, and maintain my strength and muscle mass. Actually, and also to ensure my PP still works. Why 1,400 calories and couldn't I have done a more sustainable cut? Well, because I am the size of a small child and I was prepping for a bodybuilding comp for over a year. The last thing I want to do now is spend any more unnecessary time in a deficit. I've taken my time off to know that I'm ready and this approach is the most efficient if you look at it from a muscle building perspective, but it is beyond aggressive and as a disclaimer, I definitely wouldn't recommend anyone go below a 1,000 calorie deficit. These calories are relative to me. I have over a decade's worth of experience and data and we have found that 1,400 calories is that sweet spot where I'm able to lose as much weight as possible within 6 weeks without suffering from any negative side effects. And so this is what it's like living on 1,400 calories and eating as much as a four to eight year old apparently. <sighs> hey Siri, turn on the bedroom light. Uh, I get to f <sighs> Get up, baby. You wanna be late for work. So it is currently 5.30 a.m. We're gonna get up and do some work. I am more productive in the morning. She just has work. Unlucky. Hey. What? Get the f*** up. Ready? I'm gonna show them your, your, your face in the morning. Are you sure? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Outfit check. We have the Muscle Nation Worldwide. Subtly matching the pants. Code Lee, baby. That was really cringe. <laughs> so it is currently 6.30 a.m. Here is a great tip. If you're someone who does struggle with fitting your steps in or doing something productive, I find that waking up early in the morning, front loading all the things that you don't want to do, is the best way to do it. This is great, especially if you are in a calorie deficit because majority of the time, people don't do anything after 9 p.m. Just go to sleep and then you've got more calories. I like to use this time to pretty much reply to all the comments, reply to emails, script a few videos, pretty much do things that I would say is like the boring work so that way time does go by a little bit faster. And I personally feel like I am a lot more productive in the morning. I do find that I tend to kind of taper off as it gets later during the day. Alternatively, if you can force yourself not to eat at night, or snack at night than what I used to do when I was living with my parents and pretty much doing nothing. Just play games or stay up as late as you can so that way when you do wake up in the morning, you wake up at like noon or whatever. That's just in time for the first meal. You've unintentionally fasted so you've saved a lot of your calories. But for me, at the moment since I am at a normal body fat percentage and I haven't really been kind of for that long, hunger and cravings isn't that bad. So waking up at 5.30 a.m. and dealing with the hunger to me is totally fine. And my next meal won't be until like 10 a.m. So Pretty much just gonna do steps. I'm gonna continue to do a little bit of work, maybe grab some coffee, and then I will have my first meal. Ah. All right, so 10,000 steps have been finished and I am hungry. <laughs> so for the first meal, I get excited for this every single day and I've been having this every single day for like the past week and a half now, and that is ice cream. If you don't have a Ninja Creamy, then you need to get one right now. This chocolate honeycomb flavored Ninja Creamy is only 228 calories, 24 carbs, one fat, and 32 grams of protein. To make it, start by adding 300 milliliters of skim milk to your Ninja Creamy tub, 30 grams of Muscle Nation's Choc Honeycomb Whey Protein Isolate. Because this isn't their custard protein, we will need to add a pudding mix to make it thicker, so we're adding 10 grams of Cotty's pudding mix. Add a pinch of salt, 5 grams of stevia or your sweetener of choice, mix it all together with a hand mixer and then fill the rest of it with water until it hits the max fill line and then blend it once more. Put it in the freezer for a minimum of 24 hours. When you take it out of the freezer, run it under hot water for 30 seconds to 1 minute, then use the light creamy function and that's literally it. You don't need to re-spin this recipe because it does come out perfect every single time and then you can pretty much add whatever mixing you want if you have the calories. This is so freaking good. 
Oh my god. If you don't have a Ninja Creamy, then you are definitely missing out. I can make pretty much any ice cream that I want. It's super low calorie. It tastes way better than any protein ice cream that you can get or that you can buy. The reason why I have been having it in the morning is because I can't fit it at night. This way, if I have it in the morning, then I can pretty much just work around this meal. Like, yeah, I could pre-log it and then have it after dinner, but majority of the time, because my girlfriend does cook, we end up having to adjust it anyways, and then I end up having to remove the Ninja Creamy. So if I have it first thing in the morning, I am forced to stick with the calories that I have for the rest of the day. And that means I can fit in ice cream. I think I've perfected it. Texture is perfectly creamy and it's quite filling. So it would last me pretty much to my next meal, which is around like 12 o'clock, 1 p.m. I'm gonna finish this, do a little bit more work. Then I'm gonna go to the gym. Look forward to my next meal after this. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned for the post-workout gym meal. So we just got to the gym. Actually, let me show you what it's like to train at the gym that the cutest fitness influencer in the world trains at. Let's go. This is my gym. Come on. <laughs> oh shit, I don't have my card. This is the friendly reception that always reminds me that my payments are overdue. This is the vending machine that I've probably spent a little bit too much money on. These are the toilets that I pee in. This is the bubbler that went viral on TikTok. This is the corner that a teenage couple always shows too much PDA in instead of working out. <laughs> the cardio section. The stretching area that smells like ass. This is the other stretching area that also smells like ass. The squat rack that powerlifters always spend the entire session on. And finally, the hack squat the bodybuilders always spend the entire session on and complain about how fucking hard this machine is. So, we are training pool today. Here is a snapshot of all of the exercises for this workout but this is a day of eating video, not a training video. So if you are interested in my training programs, you can find this workout along with my current training program in my Train With Me app. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go subscribe or just subscribe so you can give me money. So sign up please. <laughs> but speaking of money, we do have our very first YouTube sponsor. So big shout out and thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. I actually spent like all night writing a script and rehearsing like a full scripted sponsored segment. And while it's still fresh in my mind, I feel like I could nail this. One take, keep the camera rolling. <laughs> there's, there's actually quite a lot of people at the gym and I'm really embarrassed right now. <laughs> Ready? I bet you I know where you live and that's probably planet Earth. How did I know that? Because you don't have a VPN. So do yourself a favor and sign up to Surfshark. Surfshark makes online security very easy because it lets you browse the web with a VPN, protects your identity with, <laughs> protects, <laughs> give me a second, keep rolling. Protects your stuff with an antivirus and protects your online identity through your desktop, all in one app, or even on the browser. If you don't have a VPN yet, what the f are you doing? It's 2024. And if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what a VPN is, well, a VPN is a safe and secure connection between your device and the web, which encrypts your personal data and <laughs> online activities. <laughs> How else are you going to watch your favorite anime without your workplace finding out what your favorite anime is? Because incognito mode is not enough. Trust me, it's, it's not enough. But also, if you are a stingy Asian like me and you always want the cheapest prices, well, VPN man. Like you can find some pretty cheap prices if you change your location. So use my code LILEM for a free, three exclusive extra months. Pretty sure that's it. So sign up today. <laughs> What was I looking at? Nothing. And you'll never find out too. Oh, you thought this was over? I still got <laughs> 10 seconds because I need to get paid, baby. And I haven't gotten this far in the script yet. VPN. Use my code LEELEM for free three extra months, risk-free, because it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, baby. <laughs> We have just finished the gym. I am absolutely cooked, but now the meal you have all been waiting for. Chicken breast. <laughs> Look, honestly, I haven't really been that hungry on these 1,400 calories. So to save as many calories as I can so my girlfriend can make like a calorie friendly dinner, I've honestly just been opting to have chicken breast and I have perfected it. Look at how tender this is. This thing is glistening.
just falls right off the the meat because there's no bone. It cooks it just perfectly so that it's tender. Give it a go before you talk shit. I can't wait for dinner. I would like to say I'm a chicken breast connoisseur with the amount of chicken breast I've had. Trust me, everyone who has tried this way of cooking chicken breast has told me that this is the juiciest and most tender chicken breast they've had, especially with how easy it is to cook. With some tongs, gra grab just you can get 500 to 600 grams of breast with your hands and season it however you like. For this one, I just added salt and pepper, mainly because I like to use it with other recipes, which is where it'll get most of its flavor from. And then all you do is cook it at 180 degrees Celsius in the air fryer for 10 minutes. As soon as it goes off, flip it and cook it again for another 10 minutes at the same temperature. Then once it finishes, immediately take it out of the air fryer and let it rest for a minimum of 20 minutes. After that, you can either pull it or thinly slice it and look at that. If you think I'm a barbarian, honestly, I don't eat plain chicken breast every single day. <laughs> Just a full disclaimer. Like if I am a little bit hungrier, because it's already cooked and I didn't season it too much, I would add it to like a salad or I could add it to like a soup. Add a bunch of vegetables like mushrooms, bean sprouts, cognac noodles, tofu or whatever. That'll fill me up pretty low calorie, even though I don't save as many calories for dinner. That's what I'd do if I was a little bit hungrier. So no, I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> Last piece of chicken. Mm. Mmm, -mm. I'm still pretty hungry. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> it is actually the last week of this mini cut. Only like two days left. It is Friday today. I was thinking about extending this mini cut for one more week because all the days that I've had off, like the untracked dinners and special events that I've had, I would say it's like equivalent to a week's worth of normal maintenance, right? So realistically, this mini cut has only been five weeks. Um, even though it was a six week mini cut, including all the times I didn't adhere. But honestly, I think like hunger and kind of cravings are getting a little bit too high now. So we might as well pull out of this mini cut before it's too late and before we suffer any negative side effects. Knowing when to pull out of a mini cut, especially this aggressive is, you know, something that comes over time and being able to kind of handle such an aggressive mini cut like this is obviously, you know, again, comes with experience over time. Anyways, I'm gonna go clean up, gonna do more work and yeah, see you soon. Did you see my camera? Yes, I look at it. We're having surf and turf for dinner. So we're having surf and turf. We've got frozen prawns, we've got squid, rump, trimmed fat, mm -hmm. low calorie chips. I've learned how to perfectly cook steak by cold Syrian. You can't f it up. What would you say is your top calorie friendly tracking tip? Always having a plan. So as a nurse, I always have to have a meal plan. Otherwise, there's a lot of chance that I'm gonna do binge eating. Yeah. Because otherwise, if you don't have a meal prepped, yeah. then very easy that you're just gonna have like a chocolate bar at a cafe or something. My calorie tracking tip for those who wanna stay in a calorie deficit yeah. or track calories long term, save as many calories as you can until the end of the day. Because I find that I get quite bored at night or in the afternoon and that's when I tend to get the most peckish. Mm -hmm. And that's when I want to like snack on chips, mm -hmm. when I want to snack on ice cream. And then so majority of the time, if I save as many calories as possible, for example, I only had the menu creamy today and chicken breast, that means for dinner, I can have much bigger portions so I'm more fuller. And usually, let's say if I'm on a maintenance, if I've only had 600 calories of a 2,600 calorie maintenance, and this dinner is like, what, 800 calories? That means I have like 1200 calories of calories that I can have with snacks, right? I can have pretty much whatever I want. I'd be pretty full. I've had my ice cream, I've had my chips, and I still would have stayed within my calorie deficit. Tips and tricks, everybody. <laughs> Moment of truth, did I fuck up the steak? It's overcooked. You can't f it up. You can't f it up. Check it out. Look how good this looks. Uh. Minsaw perfected the uh, garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. Recipe.
coming actually it's gonna be in this video <laughs> my girlfriend and i always have this restaurant we go to for a surf and turf stay because they make the best creamy garlic sauce and i'm pretty sure my girlfriend nailed this recipe it's super calorie friendly and tastes fucking amazing the secret is this japanese house cream stew mix we got ours from our local asian grocer but i'm pretty sure you can find them online in a small pan on low heat add one block of the japanese house cream stew mix 40 grams of minced garlic 50 grams of boiling water pepper and 5 grams of light butter stir until everything is combined and then add 100 milliliters of skim milk continue stirring until you start seeing a little bit of steam and finally add one slice of light square cheese and continue mixing until that melts into the mixture as well if it's too salty or thick then i would add a dash of water but the consistency should look a little something like this this sauce can pretty much be used with anything but obviously since this sauce was from the surf and turf that's what i use it for as well as having it with a side of fries this dinner is 786 calories 85 grams of protein, 69 carbs, and 21 grams of fat. And that's pretty much my calories, 1400 calories. Like I think for me, 1400 calories is very manageable for a short period of time like this. But yeah, during prep, like because we did it for so long, mm -hmm. it does get really restrictive. Mm -hmm. I think like it got to the point where like, we just want to go out and have you know, McDonald's sometimes. Mm. For the last, I'd say it was like 15 weeks, mm -hmm. we just couldn't do anything. Minso would love to cook for me. But then as it got closer and closer to comp, food variety couldn't get too fancy. So rather than having dinners together like this, it was basically us just making separate dinners. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, got to the point where we just felt like roommates. I want to just sometimes just go out, have a date night with you. And, you know. It's just the small things. Like the... This, we can't enjoy these like small things at all. It actually got to the point where it's like you had to hide your snacks whenever you wanted to eat something. Because mm. every time I eat it, you just like, you feel frustrated actually. Obviously, yeah, it's not all about the food though, right? But the thing is like, yeah, I tried to socialize and go to see friends, but like being around food and being around people who were like happy, I just couldn't handle it. I think like one of the last few things that we did with friends. I just went to the couch. I don't know if they saw me, but I just like started getting really teary just because I was cry. like, yeah, you actually cry. I was like, I can't handle this. I just want to eat the food and yeah. enjoy time with people, but I can't. Can I go home? Mm. They understand. Mm. Minso never wants me to do bodybuilding. I yet. am anti bodybuilding. <laughs> I just want to like leave just a normal life with my partner, yeah. having a just good quality of meal just communicate have a date night sometimes and i really hope that you just get the you know whatever just pro card mm -hmm. in whatever competition and just stop doing this one forever i think that's the trap with what you're doing <laughs> you do it once for the first time because you're like oh i want to do it for the experience but then as you progress in training over the years you start to improve more and more and then so you're like oh i wonder how i'll do this time and then the fact that you see yourself do better and better each time mm. is what makes you want to come back. This sauce is amazing. Mm. Love it. <laughs> Clean plate club. Anyways, I don't know what else to talk about in this vlog. I think we were just filming uh, the day of eating 1,400 calories. Mm -hmm. By the time this comes out, I'll probably be back on maintenance. But yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm still eating. Yeah, you're fucking slow. <laughs> Hurry up. I want my dessert. Have your dessert. <laughs>